<coughs> so, hmm, this is our just network cooking couture Atlanta. I've never done this before. <clears throat> I'm in New York and it's fashion week. <clears throat> And I am like about to have a real come apart. I am trying to top myself out of bursting into tears. And it's a mad, angry cry. It's not a feel sorry for me cry. So it's a big deal. Fashion week in New York. The booth the space, to be a vendor, to be a part of the marketing and the promotions. Cost me $10,000. It costs $10,000 for the space. <clears throat> you know, of course, you have to pay for your hotel, your uh, transportation, and your room and board. And you're a vendor. And me, not only Am I a part of it? And I'm supposed to be an author talking about my book. I am this celebrity entertainer, chef, inspirational service provider. That's what I am. They call me the vibe curator. I curate the vibe. And I'm so with that. And I'm with promoting it. And in promoting that, I got to give out food. So that means that's more expensive. So I got to feed everybody and put something in their mouth everybody that come through okay <clears throat> in addition to that i paid the um publicist the pr person the person that brought it all together the person that um i paid her fifteen hundred dollars she was supposed to represent me, making sure all of this. She's not here. She did not refill my money, but she just disappeared and went ghost on me. She was in above her head, but that's cool. She couldn't do half of the stuff she said she could do. Give me back my money, bitch. Give me half my money. Give me something. Acknowledge that oh, uh, you could say it wasn't a good fit. Whatever. <clears throat> okay. So I get here. I'm all happy. I'm excited. Everything is cool. We're walking around Manhattan and the Chelsea district shopping for charcuterie. And it's like, I thought I died and went to heaven. It was just, it's wonderful. Oh my God. Shopping. New York is this is this is charcuterie, good God Almighty. A bottle of wine, honey, you are living your best sexy life up in this motherfucker. Your mouth happy, your body happy, your senses all happy. It's a wonderful thing. <clears throat> I'm really I'm trying to get to why I'm so upset and why I'm so hurt and why I'm so angry, but also why I'm talking to myself and I'm telling myself. Nothing can stop. What is for you is for you, girl. Nothing can stop you but your attitude. You're the only one that can stop what has for you. What, what the universe, what God has for you <clears throat> is yours. And can nobody stop you from getting it. You know, I want what I paid for. I want so, but I won't be denied. I'm going to be. So my company's name and logo is not on the step and repeat. And that has me hot because all the sponsors are on it. Everybody's gonna take a picture in front of it. Everybody's gonna hashtag it and everybody's gonna see them. The reason why I paid the fucking money is so that my company, me, my brand, my channel get seen. 
I just need one person to see it. <clears throat> it's not up there, so nobody's going to see it. But I still got to do all the things that I committed to do. Not being ensured the return I was expecting. But I got to know that my energy and who I am and what I am and what I'm owed is coming to me. And I am going to look at my earrings. I'm in love. And I'm going to change my attitude and I'm going to get in a really good head space. And I'm going to get in the space to receive. I'm going to get in the head space to receive everything <clears throat> that's for me. Everything that it is that it is for me to receive. Everything that is expected. Everything over and above all I could think and imagine. Everything that's for me is for me and I'm going to get it. And I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna meet the. I'm gonna. Everything's gonna go down, just like it would have. This is a test about how I respond to it, how much energy I give to it, uh, my attitude about it. Do I let it mess my creativity up? Do I let it throw me off? Do I let Do I let it take me off my game and me not be who I am? No, cause I only need one. And since I love on and talk to everybody, you only need one. And then change your whole situation, whole life. One encounter, one opportunity, <clears throat> one person, one contract. Okay. I think if I was at home, this would be a car confession. So this is a car confession. This is probably my most honest, vulnerable one. Because this has me shook. But not anymore. I'm getting over it as I talk it out. <clears throat> oh. Mm. I'm bad. I'm great. I'm going to need to find a liquor store. Because I need more liquor than an occasional drink don't be able to help me with. <clears throat> I don't cook. <clears throat> I would like a drink though, but I'm cool. <laughs> We're ready to go make this happen. <clears throat> we will not be nigh. No weapon against me shall prosper. Mm -mm. Excuses are monuments of nothingness. They build bridges that lead to nowhere. Those who use these tools of incompetence are masters of nothingness. And all things work together for the good of those who love Christ and are called according to his purpose. Romans 8.28 <clears throat> So, I know what it is. I know who I am. I know what's owed to me. And I'm about to get it. <clears throat> and it ain't gonna happen up here in the bathroom eating edibles. <laughs> Feel sorry for yourself, fight back tears. Tears are gone. We good. <clears throat> ah, got my phone charging. Everything cool. We good. We good. Watch what happened. I totally survived New York. I had um, a really good learning experience. I learned a lot about PR people, about fashion shows, about New Yorkers and Californians. I learned a lot. I will say that I will get what I'm owed when I use this experience. I am wiser for it all. It shows and it's gonna show and pay. Ooh, like, subscribe, and share. Let's make it happen.